Hi there, it's real estate coach Josh Vegan, and welcome to this week's coaching tip. And we're all about simple disciplines this week. You see, inside of your business, what we know is that what actually helps you to get you to where you wanna go. And will this particular activity that you're doing right now actually help you to get you where you wanna go or not? And that's such a simple idea. You see, on the inside of business, I've realized that insecurities simply just don't have a place. You can't be worried about calling a customer. You can't be in a position of wondering if you're good enough. You can't be procrastinating and you can't be in a position where you're actually distracted. You see, the reality of it is, is that if you're gonna be really good, then you've gotta to aim to be the best in the world at what it is that you do. And that's about making that decision that if you're gonna perform at your best, then you need everything in its right place. It's simple ideas like making sure that you've got your suits ready, that every single one of your shirts has already been dry cleaned, that you're in a position that your shoes are already polished, that you've done the weekly grocery shop to make sure you've got the food in the fridge so that when you wanna come out and you wanna have breakfast in the morning that you can actually run to a great routine. Now one of the things that we practice inside of our business is to talk about something we call the car method. And that's about having a cue, an action, and a result. So if you wanna be in a position that you wake up a little earlier, then you need to go to bed a little earlier. If you wanna make sure that you definitely get out of bed, then drink a liter of water before you go to bed, and I guarantee you, you won't have any problems getting out of bed in the morning. Now the key here is about the simple things that are gonna make you great. We know that planning a day is critically important. And for me, I like to really run to a routine. That's about what is the time that I get into the office, what's the time that, that first phone call comes out, uh, what is the daily directions meeting I'm gonna have with my team around the activities for the day so that we can run to a very specific timed agenda so we can get in and out of that meeting in a very quick time frame, but have absolute clarity on where everyone in our business is actually moving. Also, in addition to that, it's about making that decision that in the AM we prospect and in the PM we're out there doing appointments. And it's also the big understanding that there are gonna be certain days of the week where you're gonna have things like sales meetings and also caravan, where you're going out to see other properties that are currently available. Now you might look at those meetings with dread when I think you should actually look at those meetings with excitement because now you're having the opportunity to influence every other salesperson in your office to actually help them to sell the existing homes that you've already got, to put the connections together on who are the buyers, which therefore makes who are the potential sellers in your marketplace today, but understanding that you get out what you put in and this is everything on the inside of business. Now we like people to really focus on getting to three appointments in a day, ideally at 15 appointments in a week, and ideally at 60 appointments in a month. Because I've never met anyone who's doing 60 appointments in a month that wasn't in a position that they were writing a million dollars in fees. Now to really simplify your business, you wanna think, where, what are the areas right now that are stressing you out? Do you not have control over what you're doing on social? Are you not in a position that you've got someone in your corner who's actually getting you to deliver on your promises and making you think about your dialogue and getting in front of your customer? Are you not clear about what you need to do with people inside of your database, for example, getting their residential street address, so then you can actually be communicating and connecting with them around properties that are listed and sold? You see, these simple things are the things that will bring you undone. And it's what you do when things are quiet that make a massive difference when things get busy. So, you know what? It's time for you to sit down and just to write the list. What are the things that are working for you? What are the things that are not working for you right now? And have a look because every single thing on the list that's not working for you is either a system or a person that you don't have in place. So make the decision to get really good around what it is that you do. I really hope that you've enjoyed this week's coaching tip and I look forward to seeing you next week.